getting better, waiting for my opportunity. And when you get the opportunity, you don't open the door. You rip the door off the hinges and you make that opportunity stay. You own that baby. And that's what I did. That's another mic drop. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome to the Spartan Becca series on Spartan Up with Jared Cogswell, Director of Sport, and Yancey Culp, Director of Programming. Today, we're going to feature three impactful people, uh, I think, in our lives and people that are influencing, inspiring, and motivating people around the world. And we're going to start off today with Todd Durkin, and we'll get more into that intro here in just a second, and who Todd is, J.J. Burden, as well as Matthias Giroux, a.k.a. Super Frenchy. Super Frenchy. Yep. So... Three incredible athletes, incredible coaches, and just three phenomenal human beings. So that's where we're starting off today. This episode of Spartan Up is brought to you by Duralane, a single injection that may provide up to six months relief from osteoarthritis knee pain. Risks can include general knee pain and pain at the injection site. You can see full prescribing information at Duralane.com. What's up, Spartans? Welcome to the DECA series on the Spartan Up podcast. I'm your co-host, Jared Cogswell, along with my brother, Yancey Cope. And today, team, I'm, I'm excited about this one. We have had some amazing guests on the DECA series for the last, what, year and a half, Yancey? Yeah, yeah. Yep. And, you know, the, the one thing that I don't want to get lost is the guests that we've had on the show. um, They're all remarkable. They're all people that impact this world as, as we like to say, light up the planet. And there are these moments that I, I just love. And I know you love them too, because you call them those mic drop moments. And we've had a lot of mic drop moments and, You know, we're going to start a series here on the deck of mic drop moments. And uh, we started with with three of our early guests on the show. And I I know each of us have went back. We've chosen, you know, that guest and and our favorite message that each of each of them shared with us on the show. And we're going to start with with our guy. Todd Durkin, okay? Todd Durkin is all about passion, purpose, impact, and the guy lives it and breathes it every single day. He's, the, he's one of the most consistent human beings I've ever met in my life. And, you know, he has done some amazing things. He's, he's a performance coach, has trained and coached uh, athletes like Drew Brees, Hall of Famer LaDainian Tomlinson, elite athletes in, in all different genres. He's the Jack LaLanne Award winner, like Jack LaLanne, okay? Two-time personal trainer of the year, and he's impacted the lives of fitness professionals, their members and clients all over the world. So we're going to be talking about discipline with him and doing the things that you don't want to do that you have to do. I don't do what I feel like doing most of the times. And that's where the discipline comes in. If I was dictated by how I felt all the time, I'd be in trouble because I'd be doing things that aren't going to lead me to where I want to go. It's what do I have to do to get to where I want to go? Most of the times, if I was asking you the question, what are the three to five things that most move your soul? What are the things that you love to do? What are the things that, man, when you're doing this, you're empowered. You're like, man, this lights me up. What lights you up? If you spend time doing the things that light you up, all of a sudden, guess what? You get that contagious enthusiasm, that energy, that positivity, like, man, I'm attracting, I'm manifesting the things in my life that I want. Why? Because of the routines that you've established because you love doing what you do. To me, that's why when you mention some of the accolades and things I've done, let's put it this way. I've had far more setbacks and failures in my life than people probably know about, but I don't let them throw me off my course I don't let them get me down for too long. They'll get me down. They'll they'll get me down. But I'll say, all right, I'll stay down for a day or a few hours or a few minutes. Then snap it, time to move on. Flush the toilet and let's roll. 
Listen, JC, that freaking piece fires me up. I've listened to it probably six or seven times. I go back to a time when I saw Stephen Covey for the first time, and he's got the vase on the screen. I'm a very visual guy, and Todd freaking popping his band and doing all that stuff. It fires me up how he's a visual guy also. And Covey's up there on the stage, and he's putting the big rocks in the vase. That's the, that's the stuff that's not always easy. It's challenging sometimes, but it's going to get you to the finish line. And then we have time to do the stuff that we really love, those smaller rocks. That's what I went to the moment Todd dove into that piece, brother. Yeah, you know, TD is one of those special individuals where, you know, he, I mean, authentically practices what he preaches. What I've learned from Todd is, you know, just like we talk about putting something on the calendar, you have to write down what you want to be, who you want to be, where you want to go. And every year with Todd, the exercise is what's your annual roadmap look like for 20, in this case, 2022, right? You got to know where you're going so that every single day you're living a purposeful life. Every single quarter, every single week, when he talks about W lags, I see Todd Durkin's W lags every Sunday night. He emails them to everybody in his community, his wins, his losses from the prior week, his learning lessons. We call those ahas and then the goals for the upcoming week. And you start reading Todd Durkin's W lags each week. You start getting fired up. So I just, you know, Todd, again, he just does what he says he's going to do. And you know what it reminded me? One more thing I want to add to this um, is I just listened to a a podcast recently with Mel Robbins, and Mm -hmm. she talks about the five-second rule. And I've been using that five-second rule. You know how Todd's talking about doing the things you don't want to do? Well, I've been using the five-second rule for everything as of late for the things I don't want to do, and it simply goes like this. Five, four, three, two, one, go. And you get your ass up, you snap your back. Snap out of it. And you get going. And there's no regrets for getting your butt up and getting after it. So do what you got to do. But that was a mic drop moment from Todd Durkin. Ever since New Jersey, when he talked to our, our DecaFit crew, those coaches that came, I and I got my impact band. I, every now and then I snap myself. And that kind of ties into Mel's 54321. That's my snap out of it, Yancey. Let's go. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I tell you, Yanta, I'm really excited about this next mic drop. Um, good friend of mine and NFL receiver, former NFL receiver, J.J. Burden. I mean, this guy was undersized, um, sat on the bench. He even sat on the bench in high school, okay? And then the guy makes it to the NFL, sat in the, on the bench in, um, in college, And he didn't let anything stop him. And what I love about this next segment is he talks about just pure belief in yourself, no matter what or who is trying to hold you back. So we're going to mic drop number two with J.J. Burden. Okay, you just set us up for a magical moment for the listeners here. No pressure, J.J. So. The, what was going on in my mind when you were explaining that was, okay, you were the guy that was undersized. Okay, that could be the guy that, or the girl that's in the interview, and there's a bunch of MIT grads and Harvard grads, and they graduated from community college. It's the same situation in, in, in the NFL field and, and business. But here's the thing. Talk to the listeners about they believed in you, but you strongly believed in yourself. So every day right now, somebody is sitting in one of those situations where if they don't believe in themselves, they're not going to paint a picture strong enough for that coach to even think about or that interview, the person doing the interview to even think about them. Talk to the listeners about that when they don't meet the measurables, whatever the standards are. Yeah, that kind of reminds me of the underdog mentality. You know, I think I think people have always many people have felt like an underdog in certain situations. I met someone recently in a, a, a business and they told me they felt like an underdog because the person they worked next to went to Harvard and they went to some local community college, but they do the same job. And so what I've tried to tell people is that it's okay if someone sees you as an underdog or it's okay if you appear 
but you can't believe you're the underdog. Because if you believe you're the underdog, then you're going to deal with your own self-limiting beliefs and you're not going to do what it takes. And that's the competitive edge that I had. Yeah, 157 pounds. Everyone saw me as an underdog, but I knew I wasn't an underdog because I knew I had the talent, the ability, the mental toughness. And what they did know was I was willing to do whatever it took. So for those who are listening, I would encourage you, it's okay if they see you as the underdog, but don't believe you're the underdog and make sure you're willing to do the work, make the sacrifice, do the hard stuff consistently and understand success is an endurance race. It is not going to happen overnight. I sat on a bench for three years in Oregon. I sat on the bench several years at Lake Ridge High School in the NFL it was my fourth year that I finally made that statement. But during that time, guys, I was putting in the work. I was taking practice like it was my game day, day, honing my skills, getting better, waiting for my opportunity. And when you get the opportunity, you don't open the door. You rip the door off the hinges and you make that opportunity stay. You own that baby. And that's what I did. That's another mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Epic belief in yourself, 157 pounds. I loved that, you know, we talked about the, you know, you, you graduate from community college, the college nobody's talked about. You get, you're walking into the room with the MIT grads and the Stanford grads. You got to walk in with epic confidence. He did that. That's what JJ had. 157 pounds. You are on paper. You are not supposed to be playing in the NFL, but he did it. He was successful catching passes from Joe Montana. And dude, when he says, rip the door off the hinges, <laughs> I was like, dude, I levitated out of my chair, brother. <laughs> I felt that for sure. And, you know, the, the cool thing about JJ is he, not only did he do unbelievable things, he caught, he caught touchdown passes from Joe Montana, you know, one of the yeah. greatest of all time. And but he is a champion in life. He took it beyond the field. He is an amazing family man, uh, an amazing uh, business professional. He just, you know, he lives that mantra throughout his entire life and he inspires others. And so I, you know, again, these are mic drop moments where when you listen and reflect back on them, these are the types of things that I don't know about you, man, but. I write down stuff that I learned from from podcasts. I'll stop my workout so I don't forget the thought or I'll pull off on the side of the road just so that I can it can keep coming in because we need this stuff. We need the light um, as much as we can we can get. And uh, JJ is one of those guys that definitely sheds the light. I encourage every one of you go back and listen to the full episode. If I remember right, it was a tear jerking moment for me. We tell the story uh, about when he adopts. Um, you know, the adoption and, and, and the family story. And it's, uh, as you said, JJ is an amazing family man. We'll be right back to this interview. But first, a message from today's sponsor, Dorlane. You know that knee pain can really slow you down. Sometimes that knee pain is due to osteoarthritis, a disease that affects some 14 million Americans. Learn about osteoarthritis knee pain and how to alleviate it at oaneepainrelief.com. You'll find information there about non-surgical, non-opioid treatments for osteoarthritis knee pain that may help delay the need for knee surgery. One treatment you'll find there is Doralane, a single injection that may provide up to six months of relief from osteoarthritis knee pain. It's indicated for the treatment of mild to moderate osteoarthritis knee pain when conservative treatments have not worked. Risks can include general knee pain and pain at the injection site. Full prescribing information is at Doralane.com. Spartans say no to limits. You can learn more at oaneepainrelief.com. That's oaneepainrelief.com. All right, back to the interview. Our final mic drop for this episode comes <laughs> from uh, Matthias Giroux. Okay, Matthias Giroux, a.k.a. Super Franchi. Super Franchi. Okay, Super Franchi. Okay, yes, he, he's a wild man. Okay, he is the first ever to ski base, not just base jump, but ski base off of the Iger, Mount Blanc, and the Matterhorn. And if you go back and you watch some YouTube clips, YouTube clips of, 
of him jumping off the Matterhorn. I mean, that it was a very, very close call. His ski kicks off, and he decides at the last moment to do a flip so he can get more air time and get away from the mountain and avoid death. But he's also, as you found out, <laughs> Yancey, is very philosophical, very intelligent, and has so much to offer to the world to motivate and inspire the rest of us. And uh, I, I think everybody's going to love this clip because it, it definitely resonated with the two of us. Yeah. And people just compartmentalize too much. They ignore their, 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 their negative emotions, they call it. There's no negative emotions. Emotions either feel good or they feel bad. That's just, they, it doesn't mean that they're good or bad. They just either feel good or feel bad. They just are. Feel it all. Be a whole human. Link your emotions with your mind and your rational. This is how you're going to become a full individual and you're going to live a constructive, a constructive life. And, and I think this is, this is it, man. This is the road to fulfillment. But you have to understand yourself first. If you don't have any introspection, how are you going to live a, a life of transcendence? You're going to stagnate, man. You're going to be just, you know, wiggling around in, in mud and, and shit, like a little fat pig, not knowing where it's going to go, you know? Don't be a fat pig, just wallowing in your own crap. Become a mountain lion. Be agile and adaptable. Be aware of what's happening, you know? This is, this is the way I see it. You know, some people might think that I'm not humble and very arrogant for saying this, but that's truly what I think, you know? I, I don't think I'm an elitist either, but I despise posers. If you're a poser, you know, you're just a pig wallowing in shit trying to be a mountain lion. Just be that mountain lion. <laughs> I like it, man. <laughs> I so, hope there wasn't too much cursing. <laughs> you, mean, you know what? You don't have to jump off mountains for that to apply to you. you, you yeah, absolutely. You don't have to jump off a mountain. You know, that's actually do not jump off a mountain. This is probably one of the dumbest things you can do. Do not do what I do. But you know what? It could be exploring an art. Picking up a brush and starting painting something that nobody has ever painted before. It could be a sculpture. It could be developing a new um, education program for kids that, you know, need it. Whatever it is, you know. I'm not saying that what I'm doing is altruistic. It is very uh, egocentric and, you know, maybe selfish. But then is egocentric and selfish a bad thing? Maybe not, because who else is going to live your life? In, you know, for, nobody else is going to live your life for yourself. If you live a constructive, fulfilling life, but then the next step is to share that with others, to hopefully trigger that desire to make it happen themselves, or hopefully even empower themselves you know, to do that, which is what I'm trying to do with my son. You know? And it's, it's, I'm trying to share with him what I've learned that really made me fulfilled in my existence. Fulfillment, JC, the achievement of something desired, promised, and predicted. This whole episode, Super Finchy does such a great job sh kind of showing the power of, of fulfillment. And it's this beautiful platform up here. And you said you're going to do something. You made that promise to yourself and sometimes to others. And he talks about, you know, happiness. We, we lean in on happiness too much. That's just a little bitty piece standing up here. When you reach fulfillment, of course, you're going to have happiness. I love how he talks about, you know, we're talking about a guy that freaking skis off of mountains, <laughs> the most epic mountains in the world, and then pulls a freaking parachute at some point on the way down and lands. 99.9% .9 of the people cannot relate to that. They're never going to do that. And he actually says, I don't want you to do that. But whatever you do, I do want you to seek fulfillment. You know, what I, what I really liked about what he was saying on top of that, Yancey, is he was, um, he is humble. You know, it may, yeah. it may, he may seem like a wild maniac, but the mountains humble you. Um, that is the number one lesson you learn in the mountains is humility. And he, he's been in some really tough spots that he put himself into. Yeah. But what I admire about Matthias is he's that 1%. 
He's it reminded me uh, with what he just said of the the movie Finding Joe. If anybody has the opportunity to watch Finding Joe, it will impact the heck out of you because it talks about living like a tiger or in this case, a mountain lion Mountain lion <laughs> versus being a sheep, you know, and being part of that, you know, 80 percent that's out there. But it's it's living a fulfilled life fulfilled life without any regret it's going all in and and uh obviously i don't want to be jumping off a cliffs with my skis and a parachute but i think the lesson there is we only have one shot at this do everything you can possible do it in a safe manner uh as safe as you can possibly do it because a little bit of risk is good right that's that's what helps us grow failure helps us grow and there's a there's a lot of lessons to not just what Super French you just shared with us, but go back. I, I want to encourage the listeners and and the viewers go back to our Todd Durkin episodes. I think we did three or four episodes with Todd. We we even brought him back. We'll probably have more mic drop moments with with TD uh, JJ Burden. One of the most memorable episodes I can remember. Um, I remember up to that point, it was like wow. JJ just crushed that one. So a lot of great lessons from him. And of course, Matias, different perspective, uh, amazing athlete, doing amazing things. But man, he's got a he's got a big heart, big soul. JC, I went back and listened to that whole damn episode. I was on the edge of my seat. I had seven pieces, seven bullet points, mic drops we could have used for this. It was like juggling. Which one do we freaking pick? Yeah, well... Listen, I'm excited. You know, this is, I guess, episode one of the the deck of mic drops, right? And yeah. uh, we're gonna find more for you. Um, I encourage you listen to these these little segments, write them down, put them up on your mirror. You know, whatever it takes to remind you that you can be the best version of yourself, and that's what this is all about. Let's light each other up. Much I'll talk brother, to you soon, my brother. Rock and roll. And just so you know, we are going to put all of the links to those YouTube episodes in the description. So keep an eye out for those. And thanks for joining us. Thanks for listening to this episode of Spartan Up. Do you want to be ready for anything? Download Joe's free ebook at spartan.com slash ready for anything. Do you know someone who needs a little help staying motivated, staying informed, getting or staying mentally and physically resilient, we're here three days every week with a mix of content to help you stay strong. From mindset to nutrition and everything in between. Listen every Tuesday to hear Joe DeSena, Spartan Race founder and CEO. And the rest of the week, join us for DECA, Endurance, and Classic episodes. See you next time. This episode of Spartan Up is brought to you by Duralane, a single injection that may provide up to six months relief from osteoarthritis knee pain. Risks can include general knee pain and pain at the injection site. You can see full prescribing information at Duralane.com.